Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through purchase orders in Retail Man. In this video we'll be looking at how to raise a purchase order and also a purchase. Firstly we need to do the purchase orders manually. To do that we need to go to the stock and then count how many items we need to buy. The other way to flagging each stock item is with a minimum level and a reorder quantity settings. So let's go to the stock card, choose an item, modify. Notice that there is a minimum level of 10 and a reorder quantity of 100. So anytime the stock level goes to 10 or below, the system will flag us saying that the item needs to be reordered. Now this item, we know we ordered it from Amazon. That's our default supplier. It can have as many suppliers as you want. The only thing is the default supplier can only be set to one. So we chose Amazon because we normally buy from them. As you can see over here on the right, there is only two on hand. So now we can go and raise a purchase order to Amazon to supply us with the quantities that are missing from our stock. So we click on the purchase button. Notice that the default is purchase. This can be changed to a purchase order. If we leave the supplier details empty, the system will bring all of the items that have fallen below the minimum stock quantity. So we don't want that. We want to buy the items that are below minimum from Amazon. Here we enter their code and we go and click on the import. We choose import from and click stock items below minimum quantity and click import. Here you can see items have appeared. The system has gone through the stock file and checked which items have the default supplier of Amazon and that have fallen below the minimum quantity. So this is a quick process of replenishing the stocks. Notice the purchase order will only create a paper trail to send to the suppliers so they can send you the stock. Once having saved it, the stock quantities will not be affected and neither will other accounts. All you're doing is ordering items. Notice the number zero. If we press it, it will give us the last number, plus one. Here, for the first item, we only have two on hand. We have to put zero in the minimum. And of course, you can go through each item and check that. Once we save it, if we go back and check on the stock, notice that after we raise the purchase order, the stock levels stay the same and shows us how many we have on order. So once we receive the stock from the supplier, we need to raise a purchase that will bring in the purchase order. So recall the purchase order that we raised. The invoice that comes with the stock, it should have the purchase order as our office number. So from there, we go and get that number. Here, it's 958, restoring the items that were under the order. What we do here is click on the drop down option. Notice there are new lines in there. One is copy as purchase order. We're going to choose that. Then press the enter or return key twice. It will actually convert that purchase order into a purchase. Once we save that, it will update our stock quantities and accounts. We can either pay it now or pay it later. And of course, you can choose either save or print. Once we save it, notice that if we go back and look at the stock, the system has cleared the on order and brought the quantities into the stock. So now we have replenished our stock with the purchase that we have made from Amazon. Again, if we leave the supply code and name empty and click on the import button, it will bring us the stock items that have fallen below the minimum quantity if we have entered that. Now, if we didn't enter any minimum level, then we will not get these items imported into the purchase order. Another thing we can do is bulk fill the minimum quantities and maximum quantities from the global stock maintenance. So there is an option there to allow us to assign the minimum and maximum quantity, which is the reorder level and that will allow us to do the whole stock file in a very short time. So, if we say 100, now we can choose between part numbers, 
the stock type and default supplier. If we go to default supplier and choose Amazon, it will bring us all the items that we have with Amazon. So if we click apply filters, as you can see, it found three. The current minimum quantity is this much, and the new quantity we entered up top will be the new reorder quantity. The same can be done with the reorder quantity. Again, we can apply the quantities and filters that we want. Once we apply it and save, it will apply to all items that appeared there. This way, you can set your order and reorder quantities in a quick way to allow you to control your stock in a very effective way. I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.